two body systems on a horizontal surface are so solved in exactly the same way as any other two body system where we start by drawing a free body diagram for each object. So in this case, for the seven kilogram object, we would show that there is a force of gravity acting downward on this object. At the same time, there is a normal force acting upward on the object. We can see that there is a tension force acting to the right. And we have been told that there's a coefficient of friction, which means that there's a friction force acting to the left. For the 10 kilogram object, we have here a force of gravity acting downward. We have a normal force acting upward. We have a tension force acting to the left and we have been given a friction coefficient. So we have a friction force acting to the left and then we have our applied force acting to the right. Now, since the force of gravity and the normal force are the only two vertical forces acting on this object, we can then say that the force of gravity which for the 10 kilogram object is 98 Newton, must be equal but opposite to the normal force, which is then also 98 Newtons. And for the seven kilogram object, the force of gravity there is going to be 68.6 Newtons, that is mass times gravity, which tells us the normal force for that object is then also 68.6 Newtons. This allows us then to calculate the friction force for each of these objects using the formula friction is equal to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force. The coefficient for each of these objects is 0 0.3. The normal force for the 7 kilogram object is 68.6, which then tells us that our frictional force for this object is going to be 20.58. And the frictional force for the 10 kilogram object will then be 29.4 using the same calculation but a different normal force. The second step in any two-body system is to write a Newton's second law expression for each object. So for the seven kilogram object, the mass, the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. The net force in this case is equal to our tension force minus the friction force because we assume that this object is going to be accelerating to the right and that is equal to this object's mass times its acceleration, where the tension is an unknown force friction we have just calculated as 20.58. The mass of this object is seven kilograms and the acceleration is unknown. For the 10 kilogram object, again, start with the Newton's second law, if net is m times a, where in this case, the applied force is acting to the right, minus the tension force, minus the friction force is equal to the mass times the acceleration.